Okay, so we're gonna left off. Or we're gonna take off where we left off before. So we are making a colorless uh, creature deck, and um, we started with Vile Aggregate. I showed you, you know, how to search for different things that would work with it. Um, how I split it into different categories, like um, so, just in general, colorless creatures that work in any deck, and then we've got non-creatures, and then so a few different decks. So we got um, ingesting kind of deck. We got a uh, aggro version that's going to be fast, and then we're going to have a artifacts version that just kind of expands into artifacts. And then a uh, mid-range and ramp kind of deck where you have a lot of processor or a lot of um, scions and kind of ramp into the bigger stuff. So uh, that's where we left off. We got through all the colorless creatures. Um, now we're going to go ahead and go into anything that makes tokens. Um, so let's uh, let's do that here. We got. Doesn't have to be colorless anymore. Um, still has to be standard. Let's do. Um, let's see. Uh, this text. So you kind of want to be broad. So. Um, well, let's do this. Let's do. Uh, artifact creature token. So it'd be like um, artifact. bring up all the token stuff. And then uh, Scion, I think it's called Scion or something. I think it makes a Scion, yeah, it's called Scion. So we'll do that. So anything that has those two things in it, either one of those is going to bring up some stuff that we want. Hopefully the artifact creature thing works. Let's see. Um, there's the thopters, thopters, thopters. One colorless artifact creature token. All right, good. Okay, we have those. Okay, done with that. Let's intimidate. No, we don't. Um, the void is gonna put two. It's gonna just put one onto the battlefield. It's gonna tap two creatures, and they don't untap. Uh, it's not. It's not bad. Um. You know, it's it's kind of a tempo-y card, which we might end up being kind of a tempo deck. Um, I think. So, to have this, you kind of have to have the advantage already. So you, you have a few flyers out or something, and, you know, you're beating them down, and this is, like, extending the the clock or whatever, um, or, yeah, it's more of a tempo card, not a, uh, card advantage card, because you're not really getting much out of the card in the long run. So, it's okay, um, I could see it possibly doing something, you know, it makes a 1-1 one -one for the Ghost Fire Blade to attach to, which is kind of cool. Um, Let's uh, let's make a new section. Why not? Tempo. And play counter spells, some of these, and get some like quick guys out and beat them down or something. You know, might be cool. Uh, yeah, we got that. We got Angel's Tomb. Becomes an artifact creature. But it's not colorless, if you notice. It's a white creature. So it doesn't really work with other stuff that well. Uh, we got this guy. Makes a thopter. Makes one thopter. It's not, not very strong. It's pretty boring. Um, monuments probably not going to use. Partly, mostly because they uh, become colored creatures. But also because they're just slow and... Not very good. Light Herder we already saw. Blister Plot we already saw. We already saw. We already saw. Let's see, we got two guys for 
three. Eh, maybe the ramp deck. Be okay. But even then, it's probably not the best. Pretty boring. Carryall Thrall. Yeah, seems decent. Um, it's not colorless itself, so it might be kind of just bad. But maybe in ramp deck. You know, because uh, cards like that, it's like you really only care about the scion, not really about the, the card itself, which is kind of funny. Uh, I already saw that guy, saw that guy, saw that guy. I want that. Probably should have put non creatures or something. But, um, Foundry of the Consoles. Okay, so this might be okay. You know, it's a land. Like, if we end up playing two colors, you can probably fit it in. Non-creatures. Let's just make this non-creatures. Stick that in there. Beyond. Seems cool. It's almost like Thopter Foundry. Um, begin the ramp deck, I guess. So, put that under that. Put it in here. Might even be good in other ones. We'll see. Um, maybe I should just put them in the generic section. Seems okay with the rest of it. Pumps this guy over time, which is cool. Um, mm. This thing pumps it. Quick close fire blade to it. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Stick that in there for now. More of a ramp card, but we'll see. Gear crafter puts one dude out. Nah, don't think we want that. It's not that great. Grave birthing. Um, this is actually not a bad card. Um, we get a dude. Uh, it's instant speed. You get to exile their stuff that's gonna be annoying, like um, Death Miss Raptor, and you get to draw a card, which is the most important part. You get uh, cantrip. So. Um, I'm guessing this would be in the... Mm, not aggro. Maybe in the mid-rangey deck. Yeah. Mid-rangey deck. In your back walk, I already got it. That guy we really got so all the creatures we've already seen. This is not what we want. Not what we want. Pia and Kirin Noir. So we get two colorless creatures out, which is pretty good. Sacrifice an artifact deals two damage to target creature players, so you have some potential for uh, doing stuff. I think he's good enough. Um, or they are good enough. <laughs> Um, seems decent. You get the two guys for the vile aggregate. They're flyers for the um, ghost fire blade. Yeah, better than normal section. So. It's also going to be better than the artifact deck, obviously. That is not what we want. Not what we want. Spawning bed again, kind of the same as the other one. Uh, maybe a little bit worse, but better than the ramp one. I'm gonna put it in the ramp section actually. Okay. Look. Paste it in there. Save this before we lose everything. 
So, um, so far, we've got some decent decks, I think. Um, I'm not sure what the better of these would be so far. I'd like to make the Ingest deck because it's more interesting than the other decks. Um, but, you know, the other ones can be good too. Let's, uh, let's take all these and put them like here. Just so that it doesn't have to keep referencing them. Um, so let's go over here. Let's do that. Popper Engineer. So we get to, uh, make creatures have haste, you get a thopter, that guy's obviously going to be good in the artifacts version, might not be great in the other versions, because everything's not artifacts, um, you only get one flyer that's an artifact, so he's not very, uh, the artifacts stuck, artifacts, haste, over there, Okay, Thopter Spy Network. Okay, so this is similar to the other one. I think this is very powerful and could probably be in most of these decks um, because we're, we're going to end up playing a few artifacts. So that card can be really crazy. With Ghost Fire Blade, it's just like constant 3-3s. Three 3-3 threes. Three three flyers, which is very hard to deal with. So that seems good. Whirler Rogue is another one that's going to put two guys out, so it's kind of similar to the uh, Pia Mercury, which is cool. And you can make things unblockable, which is going to be relevant for um, the Vile Aggregate and for other stuff that's going to get big. That's cool. Um, yeah, so you can play them and immediately make something unblockable, so that's very relevant. Okay, so we're done with those, with the uh, non colorless creature things that still make colorless creatures. <laughs> um, looking good. So uh, I'm leaning towards the processor side, just because it'll be fun. So maybe I'll start branching off into that and um, see what happens. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's find some other non-creatures too. So let's go with uh, artifacts. Let's see what how many artifacts there are that would be good in this deck. And in general, colorless spells. So let's just uh, let's do everything colorless. Non-creature, not creature. Colorless things. So, that. Not contain creature, does contain standard, and we want colorless. And in search. Alright, so next up after this is probably going to be. Um, Finding things that exile stuff, which is cool. And it's gonna work with our ingest theme. Um, we could also do the artifact route and find um, things that work with artifact creatures and flesh that out. We could also go with the ramp theme and try and find a lot of cards that uh, are either good to ramp into or do ramping very efficiently. Um, we could go with the tempo theme and try and find good, cheap uh, disruption spells and, um, and flyers and unblockable guys and evasion stuff, which is good. Um, so, but for now we're going to keep going with the uh, colorless stuff. So, we've got Alchemist Vile, which is not bad, but it's pretty mad. Probably not going to put it in. Archive. Let's see. Don't think we have any life gain, so it's probably not great. And, you know, the card draws nice, but eh, it's alright. Maybe in the 
ramping deck. Um, it'd be okay, but eh, I just don't like the card. Hedron Network. Maybe a sideboard card. Um, enters the battlefield, exile creatures with power 5 or greater. Without leaves. Yeah. Probably not that great, even as, as a sideboard card. Um, another opponent enters the battlefield under control. Each opponent puts the top card of your library in your graveyard. If it was exile, that'd be awesome, but it's not. So, it's probably not good. Um, maybe a combo deck or something, but that's pretty pushing it. Um, let's see here. Avarice Amulet. Too slow. Just janky. Uh, we got lands, 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 lands. Uh, nothing exciting. This one's kind of cool. Yeah, like a deck with a lot of creatures in it. Um, let's see, we got this one ramps. Yeah. Seems like a bad waste of a turn, so maybe not. These are all just boring lands. Um, plus two, plus two, and has trample. Yeah, too expensive. Briber's purse. Mm, doesn't do enough probably for most of the things we're gonna do. Maybe in control, but we're not really a control deck. So, if you want to build the Thopter control deck, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, brutal expulsion. Can return target spell or creature to someone's hand. So this would be pretty good in a um, in a tempo kind of deck, I think. So we'll put that in the tempo section, but it might also just be good in general. It returns it to their hands, so it's kind of like a, a not very good, um, what's it called? Remand. Eh. It's expensive remand. That can I mean it has options, it's kinda cool. It's a cool card. Probably best in tempo. Looked at that. How is this oh, I see it's it's just flipped. Um, complete disregard. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty awesome. I like it. Let's put it down to the non creature. Non creatures here. Put that in there. Cool. Kills a lot of stuff that we care about and exiles it so we can uh, do the processor stuff. No. No. No dragons. Exiles, something that's boring. Citadel can't play any. Boring, boring, boring. Boring. I like these lands a lot, but for right now we'll just hold off on lands besides the ones that actually do stuff. From beyond, we already looked at. Again, lands. It's too slow. This fireblade already have Book Planeswalker. Um, no. Mm, so many bad artifacts, man. It's just bad. Uh, too slow. <coughs> Gruesome Slaughter. This seems fun. Seems like a fun card. Equal to its power. I wish it was creature player. That'd be awesome. But this is cool too. It's not fighting, it's just dealing damage, so it's a little one sided board wipe sometimes. Um, maybe a sideboard card, but we'll put it in the non creature section. Right now. Um,
Hero's Blade don't have many legendary creatures. Spell counter mana cost four or less. Spells counter that way. Exile it. Uh, yeah, that's decent. Counter Seed Runner. It's cool. Four or less isn't really terrible. The Sainful Stroke might be better, but this one might be better in the uh, um, ingesting deck. Because it exiles, so that's cool. Jace, yeah, I'm not gonna pay for him. <laughs> I'm sure you probably don't want to, in a, especially in a brew deck, you don't want to like buy cards right off the bat that are super expensive. Um, boing, 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 boing. Boing. Molten Nursery, alright. Um, whenever you cast a colorless spell, deals one damage to target creature or player. Seems fun. Uh, talking to the non creature section. Doesn't seem powerful enough, probably. Two spells with two damage. Not great. Processor assault. Five damage to target creature, so it's like a roast, but um, but he, his first of all, it's colorless. Second of all, you need to have a card in exile. But we might be able to pull it off. Let's put it in the processor deck. It's not bad. Processor deck is right. Profane Memento no. Pyromancer's Goggles. Pretty fun, but different deck. <laughs> um no. Stamage. No. Rogue's Passage. E. Seven or greater, you sacrifice it for a colored creature right from your hand. Seems fun in the ramp deck. Let's uh, put it in the deck. So I just think ramping is probably not going to be that fun. But. There should be a land that gives colorless creatures or you gain a life for each colorless creature or something like that. We'll see. Pretty sure it's still standard evil. Come on. Damn it, he's not liking me. Should have found stuff. Sounds fun. Touch of the void. Why is it not going? Refresh. Hmm. Um. This one seems fun. Um. Sorcery, though. Ah, uh, yeah. Makes it a lot worse. Yeah, probably not. Alright, uh. Probably gonna do these, I think. Pretty much. Titan's Presence. Probably not gonna be great. We don't have a lot of big stuff, so. But we'll put it in the. Maybe deck. Seems good then.
anything that deals with artifacts or colorless creatures. So I'm going to pause it here, um, after we go over this, so that you guys don't have to wait. So, um, we got a tempo-y kind of deck going on, maybe. Um, we got these guys, we got some pump, we got some evasion stuff going on, we got, you know, flyers at the wazoo. Um, we got flyers, 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 you know, there's lots of flyers in this deck, so I feel like that might be pretty good, um, to build around, like, lots of flyers. So, you know, we got tons of flyers. We got the ghost fire blades are going to be great with the flyers. Um, we got all the pump, which is going to make the flyers pretty crazy, this guy. Um, yeah, seems pretty cool. Uh, we're going to do that, and then maybe the ingester theme, but it might not be good enough. Let's see, we got um, stuff that's good in everything. It's going to be, that is going to be in, in the ingester deck, for sure. Uh -uh. Probably. Um, that's going to be in the ingester deck. That's going to be his ingest. Ingest, ingest, ingest. So that's that's gonna be black, uh, red, blue, black. It looks like if we do end up making the ingester deck. I don't see anything that's like green that would be great with that. Um, so it's either gonna be black, red blue or just straight up uh, blue red which might be better anyways Let's see if this will work now we will speed up mm, no it's still going so okay so I'm going to end it right there and you can watch my next video to continue thanks